to John, you will not punch a lot of holes in future because we have got a better basis than some people who were not having it. So I believe that we can all start also and picking good data, which is new. Thank you. Uh -huh. Mind a bit Prof. Bien, merci. Euh, je suis vraiment content d'être ici. Euh, je remercie d'abord le professeur Town euh, et puis l'équipe pour l'occasion qu'ils m'ont donné et sinon qu'ils nous ont donné puisque je suis avec euh, euh, le professeur Paul. Euh, je le remercie pour, pour l'occasion qu'il nous a donné d'être là. C'est Pour moi, euh, l'une des premières occasions euh, de participer à euh, un tel atelier euh, international, puisque je suis au début de ma carrière de, de chercheur, euh, euh, j'avoue que euh, pour moi, euh, j'ai capitalisé assez d'expérience euh, pour cette première sortie. Euh, également, euh, Je suis euh, heureux de, de faire un bain linguistique de, de 10 jours euh, et cela m'aidera aussi dans ma carrière de chercheur. Je rappelle que je suis au laboratoire des sciences forestières en tant qu'assistant de recherche et euh, au début de la formation J'ai eu assez de difficultés puisque j'ai constaté que c'était une formation un peu plus pour les botanistes. Euh, mais avec le, les jours, je, je me suis retrouvé. J'ai pu retenir assez d'éléments qui pourront m'aider euh, au niveau du laboratoire des sciences forestières. Euh, J'ajouterais que Euh, la langue euh, m'a énormément perturbé, mais cela ne veut pas dire que j'ai rien retenu, bien sûr. Mais j'aurais souhaité que pour euh, euh, les prochaines euh, organisations, qu'il faut intégrer également le, le français, même s'il faut prévoir des speakers, ou comment j'appelle, pour traduire. En français, ce serait intéressant parce que la biodiversité n'a pas de limite, ça n'a pas de, de, de barrière, n'a pas de barrière de langue dans la, bio, dans la gestion de la biodiversité. Euh, je pense que c'est tout ce que j'avais à dire. Encore une fois, je remercie l'équipe euh, du professeur Tan. <laughs> okay, uh, thank you very much. Where did I start? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, he, he's just saying that he's, he's very happy with uh, Town and his team, that actually he's here with his uh, professor, professor Paul. And in actual fact, this is his first occasion to attend a training workshop like this because he's just at the beginning of his, of his career. And uh, he's also very happy because these these ten days have have improved his linguist his linguistic power that he can he can actually he did he didn't realize that 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 he can study in English for ten days in a, in a course like this and um, that that at the beginning at the beginning when he was coming he actually feel that this course would be just for botanists but he was actually surprised that when he came here he was. A mixed biodiversity course, so that that was his first point of being derailed. But as the course went on, he realized that hey, this thing is not just for botanists. It's becoming very, 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 very interesting. And that um, he's pleading that for for subsequent courses or if other institutions 
have to come in future to organize courses like this, they, they should be a translator so that it should be in English and in French. So, but generally, he's very happy to attend this first workshop, which is very vital for his career. I is thanking the team very much. Okay. Merci beaucoup. Je tiens à remercier le professeur Tang, l'organisateur principal de cet atelier. Et je remercie aussi les formateurs qui nous ont formés pendant dix jours. J'avoue que l'atelier a été très bien. Ça nous a permis de beaucoup apprendre. Moi, je suis à l'herbier national du Bénin. Et nous avons eu un peu de progrès là, dans la gestion des données. Nous avons bénéficié de l'appui des Néerlandais, de l'appui de GBIF pour la numérisation des herbiers et de l'appui de l'ambassade de France. Mais quand j'ai suivi ce cours, ça me permet d'apporter des corrections ultérieures si les travaux devraient continuer. Et je vous remercie une fois de plus. Et ce qui a été intéressant aussi, c'est que les supports de, de cours ont été donnés, ce qui nous permet quand on va rentrer, de continuer à, à revisiter le cours reçu. Et si on a des problèmes éventuels, je suggérerais que les formateurs restent en contact avec nous pour nous aider à régler ces problèmes dans la gestion de, des données qui nous incombent. Je ne vais pas dire, répéter ce qui a été déjà dit. Donc, je dis sincèrement merci aux formateurs, merci à l'organisateur. Et merci aux participants, ça nous a permis de partager entre nous nos expériences aussi. Je vous remercie. Traducteur. <rire> mm. Ok. Yeah, um, Professor Paul is saying that he's very, he's thanking everybody and uh, he's very thankful to to town, the principal coordinator of this, of this workshop and, and his team, that uh, actually he works with the National Herbarium of Benin, and um, they, have, they have received some, they actually have received some help from GBIF, uh, the French, the, from GBIF, the French Embassy, and, uh, and, huh? yes, yes, and, and, and Netherlands and the Netherlands government, they have actually re received a good number of support from them. And uh, that what is really interesting, that what is, is really interesting, is, okay, yeah, that what is really interesting is the documentation. And um, he, he, he actually hoped that after this course, all, all the trainers can still be in contact with them so that if they have any problem, they can get in contact with the trainers, get advice how to move ahead and how to how they can they can go ahead in solving their own problems in their herbarium. That um, with that, he is very grateful to be here. <coughs> Bon, moi je tiens à remercier toute l'équipe pour les cours dispensés. Vraiment, ça a été un réel plaisir pour nous euh, de découvrir les logiciels que nous n'avons pas chez nous et surtout la manière de les utiliser. Euh, les avantages, on ne peut pas en parler ici parce que tellement nous avons profité, surtout nous les pays africains, nous avons tellement de données et on n'a pas les moyens, disons, les politiques ne nous le permettent pas. Mais rassurez-vous, nous serons de bons relais dans nos pays respectifs pour tout ce que nous avons appris. Euh, à notre herbier, l'herbier national de l'Université de Lomé, nous avons des bases de données. Cette fois-ci, nous avons profité de la manière de les corriger, de les réorienter, surtout de les extraire aussi. Je pense que ça a été vraiment bénéfique pour nous. 
de telles initiatives dans l'avenir, si le temps le permet, on aimerait bien y participer. Mais comme les autres ont eu à le suggérer, si on pouvait avoir d'interprètes, ça aurait pu nous arranger. Du moins, ça, ça nous a permis aussi, cet atelier bien entendu, de, de reviser notre niveau d'anglais, puisque ça a été vraiment, vraiment, vraiment un temps de bataille pour nous, de, de suivre le cours juste en anglais, de le traduire en français pour pouvoir être dans le bain. Mais ça a été très bénéfique pour nous. Je pense que c'est un effort que nous avons fourni et ça mérite d'être récompensé par l'utilisation de ces logiciels. Merci et merci à tous. In brief. In brief. Yeah, he's saying that he is very happy and happy with town team. And that, um, to be honest, that, that, that he has learned a lot here that uh, he cannot really start enumerating them. But he's, he's given full assurance to town and his team that uh, when, when, they go, when he goes back to, to his country, he will put, they will put all what they have learned here into practice because they have learned a lot for these 10 days that they can't actually start expressing now, but they will put, put all of it in, in practice. Then just like, like, like other, other uh, French-speaking uh, candidates, as I said, that next time it will really be advantageous if there's a translator, because it will make them to better understand the course. And uh, that he's very grateful to be here. I just want to say it's been a pleasure to meet, with, to meet you all and to work with all of you and to extend um, my, my services to you if I can answer any questions. After this, please do not hesitate to ask. Um, we're here to help in any way we can. And in English or in French, we can, we can figure it out in French too. Um, but it's been an honor. This is a first for me, this opportunity, and I'm, I'm honored to have been a part. So I thank you. I'd like to reiterate that. Um, as poorly as my French is, uh, I have enjoyed sitting side by side with Jean-Claude using Google Translate to uh, go back and forth on computers. <laughs> So while it may have been difficult, we really did our best to sort of help out. A translator, I think, is a great idea for the next course. Um, also, again, many of you have con we've linked up uh, with emails, but if anyone doesn't have any, please feel free to contact me with anything. I'd also like to thank Alex and his team and everyone here um, for their hospitality and all the work they did and the tours at the herbarium and at the museum. It's been really at the university, it's been really um, wonderful to see everything in practice. Um, and if there's anything else, let us know. Okay, um, my turn now. So, well, thanks very much to your first, um, actually to the organizer as well, because obviously it was a tremendous um, time and, and every other thing essentially to you know, bring us all here, not only the instructors, but obviously all the participants. So thank you very much to, to Town and Thelina for organizing everything so absolutely beautifully. I mean, it was just amazing. Um, and then also, I want to essentially reiterate what Kim and Melissa were just saying. I think it was really amazing just coming here and being able to do that. This is all the teaching I'm typically doing is a lot more focused on certain specific topics. So this is for me, uh, you know, first in that in that scope as well. So I thought it was really, really interesting. And it was amazing just watching and overhearing, listening to the conversations amongst, you know, amongst everyone, essentially. I think it's just um, very neat to see how, one of the thoughts I had when, when the whole thing first started was like, oh, 10 days, that sounds like a long time. But in the end, I think it's, it's really one of the huge benefits that we were locked up, quote, in one hotel for 10 days and we could interact and talk to each other and develop ideas and everything. So I think that's, that's fantastic. Um, one thing that was a little disappointing to me, um, and that's quite obvious, is that given that 
you know, we arthropods are such a huge chunk of the diversity out there <laughs> that we really... Sorry, what? I thought you were a vertebrate. Well, you know, no, I, I consider myself an arthropod for the purposes of this argument, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so it was a little sad to see that out of the, the applicants um, to this course, and there were a lot more entomologists amongst them, that really only two um, arthropod people actually made it into that um, selective group of people who were chosen to come here. So I think, you know, for future courses, I would, you know, beg the organizers to maybe keep that in mind too that um, it would be good because we're obviously lacking behind in a lot of the things you've been talking about in vertebrate and in, in plant world just because we're, we're dealing with you know a whole order of magnitude of difference in terms of the you know the task in front of us so okay my two cents no you don't <laughs> you, you don't clap <laughs> Um, to me, this course, I've been in many courses, but most of them I'm so busy, more busy even than in this one, that I don't get to pay attention to what's going on that much. In this one, I had more opportunity to do so, and I realized that in my own mind, at least, there's something happening here. For the first time, I felt like there was, I was a part of history. You are, are all a little bit more aware of what you're capable of, and you're gonna walk away from here and use that and do things. And that's going to have implications and impact that normally I'm creating Excel spreadsheets and ac access databases and I'm running refine and I'm trying to answer people's questions without realizing that it is something bigger than all that. In this course and with this group of people, I was able to realize that. And it makes me feel better about my addiction to trying to be helpful. So thank all of you for making me happy in that way. <laughs> I feel like it's worth it here. <laughs> <laughs>